I think for anybody who's ever thought about, you know, art or exhibitions, and they may have had a bit of an image of perhaps it's a little bit stuffy, it's, then this is the exhibition for you to really get stuck into because it's real. You know, looking back and seeing, you know, what did the pandemic do? What did it mean and how did it feel? It was a time where the world stood still. For a, a time that is relatively recent, it also feels like a, a million years ago. You felt a little bit caged, which brought out a, a raft of emotions in, in all of us. When we came to thinking about designing an exhibition that reflected on the COVID pandemic, we knew that it was really important to have as many different voices be part of telling that story as possible. Where we are now contains artworks that have been loaned to us from Arts Council Collection. alongside artworks by our community groups and from local artists as well. There was a ubiquitous site during that first lockdown of public benches being taped up so they weren't being used and that was a very simple but almost kind of brutal act. Those places are places where you rest, people you know, will chat on them and wrapping them in tape just took away that function and if they didn't have a function what were they? All of our young people have been through so much and this project gave them the opportunity to think outside of those four walls they were stuck in, reflect on what was positive to them, what got them through it, all of those lessons that we've learned during the pandemic. When we started looking at the pieces, it was a real opportunity to share our experiences and kind of say, well, actually, I relate to this and I relate to that. And it was very interesting to hear that lots of people related to similar pieces. One of the art champions picked bird. You knew it could fly, but it was stuck in this piece, but it, the facial expressions and everything else was it was ready. And that felt a little bit like us towards the end of, uh, of lockdown, I guess. You know, we were all a little bit like caged animals. It is not very typical, but I think there's certainly a role for art and science to come together. Looking at the art inspired a lot of conversations with my colleagues that I wouldn't normally have had. Subjects like helplessness, isolation. They are quite tricky to explain with science. I think viewing the art encourages you to be more attentive. It encourages you to look critically like you would if you're diagnosing an issue with people. I think making artwork, it's kind of programmed into us from the first things we do as a kid, picking up a crayon and making a mark. It's like a thing, I am here, I was here, I was there. When that is in combination with something that is momentous, like the pandemic was, I think it's a very natural thing to want to commemorate that in some way. Creative Age looked particularly at artworks that focused on touch and care. Lots of them are carers themselves or are cared for. So they worked with Giddy Rogers to create a series of ceramic figures that are all reaching out for a hug. We're a group of women over 50 and it's a time in your life, you know, when you, your family have grown up and you have this time to free flow with your creativity. And I joined the group and I didn't know where to start with my artwork, but the, we spoke about COVID and our experiences of uh, the pandemic. And I lost my mum to COVID. And I read some letters of my mum's and she used to write in ink and the tears started to flow and I saw the ink moving on the page and I thought, this is my inspiration. So all the grief and emotion I just poured onto this piece of paper. I used inks, I used copper, because Carvey can't live on copper, so that's a protective thing for me. The hand sanitizer, and I know it's got 90% alcohol, so I was spraying it on the ink for that to move and flow like the tears. But I wanted it also to be bright, so it's a sign, more of a sign of hope. I mean, the pandemic hasn't just been about grief. There has been hope. So in Sangini, we work with older women's group. It was as if life has given them a chance to pause and look around and enjoy the nature and be able to connect with it. And that's what inspired them to create this collective piece. Felting requires, um, you know, a wool to be pierced with a needle. And that women found quite therapeutic. It was actually jabbing. It was almost they were taking something out of their system. Yes, the exhibition came out from an experience of trauma, but really the response is positive. 